What's going on guys? It is me the Lone Vault Wanderer with a Fallout 4 news update. I honestly did not think that I would be doing one of these before I left on my holiday, but here we are. Before I talk about it, I just want to say if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, that is the only way that I'm going to be accessible while I am on my holiday. I'll be tweeting out here and there. So if you want to keep tabs on me for the next three weeks, just follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description below. Please check it out. I would really appreciate it. So anyways, pretty big fucking news here and usually I don't say that I'm very calm collected hesitant in my Fallout 4 update videos but this is pretty massive now Jason Schreier who is a reporter he is a journalist for Kotaku which is obviously one of the major gaming news websites now remember Jason Schreier was the one that leaked those script documents of Fallout 4 or allegedly they were of Fallout 4 and of the the casting call that Bethesda conducted he was the journalist that first leaked that so the fact that he saying something now should be significant and I still think to this day that that leak was legit you never saw Pete Hines you never saw Bethesda come out and say no it's fake like they have been doing with most hoaxes so I think that gives some credence to that particular leak and again I want to stress the fact that he is saying something now about Fallout 4 means it should be given some attention it might have some credibility to it and I think over the past year this is one of the only things that has any credibility to it so what I'm going to do right now I'm going to to show you the tweets that I am talking about on screen. Jason Schreier tweeted out, I feel like 2015 is going to be a really rad year. Better Meister on Twitter responds, I don't know. Like 2014, it's missing a really big title that would totally blow my mind. But who knows what will come? Jason Schreier says quite optimistically, Fallout 4. Now, stop right there. That doesn't mean anything in and of itself. Jason Trier could just be a Fallout fan like everyone else, and he is just hoping that Fallout 4 will be announced. But keep watching. So Bettermeister responds, Fallout 4 would be incredible and save 2015 for me. And then Jason responds, and this is the kicker, I hear we'll get an announcement in the next few months. Now that is massive, and it's massive for a number of reasons. First of all, just in general terms, Jason Schreier is a journalist, a reporter at one of the biggest gaming news websites going around and that's Kotaku. Leave aside all of the drama and the bullshit that's happened with Kotaku over the past year. Just remember that they're still trying to be a reputable site. They're not going to be releasing fake news articles. The journalists aren't going to be willingly misrepresenting themselves and making false, you know, statements in the public eye on Twitter because they are trying to uphold their reputation and they're trying to hold on to their job prospects. So just bearing that in mind, Jason Schreier, as a journalist at one of the biggest gaming news websites, will have access to an abundance of insider knowledge. Whether that comes across by talking to people in the gaming industry, whether that's by receiving anonymous tips from others in the gaming industry, whether developers, publishers, those at Xbox, those at PlayStation, whoever. Just being a reporter at one of these gaming news websites, you will just happen to come along this kind of information. And bearing in mind that every single day, these journalists and these reporters are actively going out and trying to find gaming news to report upon. So you can take the general assumption that gaming news reporters and journalists will simply have more insider knowledge and more information about the gaming industry than just lay people, than just me, yourself, or any other random gaming fan they are going to have access to much more important and secretive information. So bearing that in mind, and the fact that Jason has said, I hear we'll get an announcement in the next few months, that suggests to me that somebody in the gaming industry has told him that. Somebody from Bethesda Softworks, maybe somebody from Bethesda Game Studios, maybe a related developer, who knows? It could be anyone that knows of the development of Fallout 4 that has tipped Jason Schreier off, and they will frequently do that again because he is a reporter, he is a journalist that is actively trying to build a relationship with developers and publishers and trying to get this kind of news and information that can get a lot of hits on their website, on Kotaku in particular. Now the second important thing about this is that, like I alluded to in the earlier part of this video, Jason Schreier was the one that leaked out those Fallout 4 casting call script documents. It was him specifically. It wasn't just another random journalist or reporter at Kotaku. It was Jason Schreier specifically. 
And I think that is important because the fact that on one occasion he says Fallout 4 quite optimistically, and then on the second occasion he says, I hear we'll get an announcement in the next few months, shows to me that he knows something. If we assume that those script documents are real, and I think that they are, then I think we can also extend that assumption to say that the statement, I hear we'll get an announcement in the next few months, has some sort of credibility with it. And perhaps it came from the same person that leaked to Jason the script documents in the first place because as I said they build up a relationship with developers or publishers so they frequently get this kind of insider knowledge so they can make articles about it so the fact that he says quite explicitly there is nothing unclear about this he says explicitly I hear we'll get an announcement in the next few months surely he knows something and the fact that he put his reputation on the line with those Fallout 4 script documents amongst all of the other bullshit that was happening at the time specifically referring to the survivor 2299 because that article was released at a similar time to when the Survivor website was revealed to be a hoax. He put his reputation on the line in putting out that article in the midst of people saying, oh, you're fake, you just want to capitalize on views because of the Survivor website. Yet to this day, that article has not been debunked by Bethesda or by Pete Hines or whoever as a hoax. It still has credibility to it because it hasn't been debunked. And because of that, I think we can take Jason Schreier's word on this that Fallout 4 will be announced in the next few months. So I don't know about you guys, but I am definitely at least taking this on board. I always say take things with a grain of salt, but trying to sum up, we have a reporter from a large gaming website that has reported on Fallout 4 news in the past that hasn't been debunked yet, and that simultaneously put his reputation on the line in doing so in the midst of people calling him a liar or a fake just to capitalize on views, and then making explicit tweets about Fallout 4 and that there will be an announcement and the next couple of months. For me personally, it all seems to lead to an announcement early next year in 2015. So I really want to know your thoughts, guys. Put them in the comments below. This has been the Lone Vault Wanderer. I am going on holidays tomorrow, so I will see you in the new year. I've tried to make as many new videos as I can to schedule the upload. I haven't been able to stick to my regular schedule, but you will get some content at the very least over the next three-week period. Anyways, Wastelanders, please take care of yourself, and as always, keep fighting the good fight.